The rain drummed relentlessly against the timbers of Lashholm's dock, each drop a whisper of the sea's ancient tales. The harbor was shrouded in mist, blending the dim outline of the cargo vessels with the veil of twilight. Among them, a small boat bobbed gently as it made port, its arrival marked not by horns or festivity, but by an overshadowing gloom that hung about its single passenger. Mortimer Mint stepped onto the sodden planks, his attire blending in well with the drab and dreary colors of the market beyond. Swathed in tattered robes of deep crimson and shadowy black, he resembled a specter, a herald of endings rather than beginnings. The locals cast passing glances, most shying away from his presence, though he seemed unperturbed by their unease. A figure emerged from the shadows, large and imposing, a brute of a man, with a beard twisted like the tempestuous sea. Main Relmer, eh? What's your name, stranger? He asked, a rough edge to his voice. Mortimer Mend. He replied, his tone cool and detached. I'm expected at the castle of the Rogue Queen, I think. As if conjured from the very mist itself, another man stepped forward. His skin, a hue reminiscent of weathered stone, bore the marks of time, crags and wrinkles woven together like a tapestry of wisdom, sewn from the yarn of poor choices. Dark hair hung loosely about his shoulders, and from his back sprouted a set of large bat-like wings that quivered gently in the damp air. Horns arced from his forehead, gleaming oddly in the fading light. You'll find your way there in comfort, he said, nodding toward a carriage at the edge of the dock. I am your driver. My name is Olgath. Mortimer nodded, curiosity crackling in his gut. Their small group was soon completed by two other souls, a stout man in the attire of a cleric, his eyes bright with conviction, yet shadowed by weariness, and a woman whose presence was as enigmatic as the sea, a hunter or so, she claimed. Mortimer noted her lack of gear, only a simple cloak, and a wildness in her gaze that suggested an untamed spirit, perhaps more than mere survivalist. As they piled into the creaking carriage, the world outside blurred into a cacophony of gray rain and dark woodlands. A strange device, pivoted upon the carriage's wall, allowed Olgath to speak to them from the front, weaving tales to fill the silence that enveloped their excursion. His voice wafted back, rich and layered, carrying fables of the rogue queen's reign. The shifting alliances of these dim lands, whispers of magical creatures lurking in the woods, and curses that befell those who crossed her path. They settled in for the night at a tavern north of Lashholm, its warm hearth flickering against the dreary outside. The air smelled of wet earth and smoke, and laughter mingled with the clinking of mugs. Mortimer knew that each tale matters, each soul entangled in a web, far transcending the ordinary. As the fire crackled and Olgath began to spin another yarn, Casting glances at the others, Mortimer felt the promise of something more, a revelation about to unravel in the shadowy embrace of magic and fate. 